Factor 11 is all about promotional text. There's a promotional video I created where I had text on the screen that was outlined and then I filled it in. So in this video, let's look at how to take any font and make it an outlined font. We'll start by adding some text to our screen. So I'll go over to annotations. On the first tab, I'll grab some text and drag it over to the center. And I wanna choose a thick font. So chances are, I wanna use something that is going to be bold. We can use Montserrat and we'll make it bold. And we'll make it much larger. So let's go here and we'll replace this with whatever text we want to use. And I'll just expand this so that it's centered on my screen. To get this outline, I'm going to copy whatever this text box is and paste it. And I'll just zoom in so we have these two right on top of each other. What we want is to make this lower text box just a little bit bigger than the one behind it. We're going to go to visual effects. We'll grab the glow effect and drag it down to the text box that is below. And when we do, we can see that it does this outline and it looks fuzzy and that's okay. We'll fix it here in a moment. Let's see what happens when we right click the top track and choose alpha invert. Now we can see this text outlined. Now, if you like this neon text effect, maybe you wanna keep it like this, but I like a very tight text outline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank that intensity all the way up to 100, but drag the radius all the way down to zero. And so now I have this nice thin outline. And to see it a little bit better, this is how it would look. If we zoom in 100%, we can see it has a nice tight radius, a nice tight line around it. Now that might be a little tighter than you want. So if you need it a little bigger, no problem. Just increase that radius to a number that you like. So maybe you want 3% or maybe you want 5% or something like that. You can do that and that perhaps will make your text look a little bit better. So let me show you how I would use this to animate it in a promotional video. I'll select both items and I'll just do a control G to group them. Now I have the group here. I can now get rid of this alpha track. I'll just change it back to none. With it selected, I'll press control C to copy and control V to paste. And then I'll just move it above the previous and then control V again to paste once more and move that above the previous. Then I can press control V again, get one below and control V one last time to get one below again. So now this was my background. So to simplify this, I'll select all of these and I'll just group them into one background item now. And then I'll do a control V to paste what we had before. Now, I actually don't want it to be outlined here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use control U to ungroup this and I'm gonna delete the glow part of it. So now this text fills in the other text. So if I wanted to animate this down over a few seconds, perhaps I would come in, let's say five frames and then I would have it appear. So I'll put it here and I want it to first appear on the first line. And then I'll come in another five frames and I will split to remove that one. And I'll come up to here and I want this second one to appear here. And then I'll come over another five frames and then I'll split again, move it up. And then I would have this second one or this third one, I should say, appear here in the center. The one that's in the middle, I usually keep there so that people can see it. So what I'll do is I'll grab these first two again and I'll control C to copy them. Then I'll come five more frames in, control V to paste them and I'm gonna paste them here above, and I really want them to be down here. We'll put that one there, and we'll put the last one there, and then it disappears. So let's play through that and see how that animates down. Okay, so that's a nice, it looks kind of blocky, right? A little choppy to do it that way. Probably five frames is too many. Uh, I probably wanna reduce that down to two or three frames. So if I just go one, two, three frames in, and I'll just move these, move this guy over one, two, three frames, Move this guy, one, two, three frames. And three here. Let's play through that. It should be a little smoother. Yes, so I think that looks better. If you have text going down the screen, whatever that may be. Of course, outline text isn't very exciting, but it's still a neat effect that you have this text that's outlined and you fill it in as you animate down. And then one other thing I did once that text was off the screen was I wanted this to emphasize so I did a couple of things here. What I'll do is I will add an animation. So I'll select it. I'll do a shift A to add an animation. I'll have it start as soon as that other item disappears. And we'll make this perhaps, we'll try 10 frames. And what I want it to do is both glow and grow. So I'm gonna change the scale. I'm gonna increase the scale. Let's try 5%. And then I also made it glow. So I'm gonna grab glow, drag it down here. And so at the beginning of this, I don't want any glow. So I want it to be not intense at all. And then at the end, I want it to glow and grow, and then I want it to go back down. So then I'll just add that restore animation again. So I'll come back, go to animations, 
grab restore, drag it down, and then I'll just make it 10 frames to match the other one. And then let's play through this and see how this looks. Yeah, I like that. Let's play through that one more time. Yeah, I think that looks pretty neat. So that's a really great way to take any font, make it an outline font, animate it down, and then emphasize something there in the middle. If you like this and want to learn more tips and tricks about creating professional looking videos with Camtasia, check out the Camtasia Pro course at cammastery.com pro.